Hey guys, it's Deligracy here today and we are doing the second part of my vampire build for my new Let's Play. Uh, this is basically just furnishing a build we did part one of uh, a couple of days ago. So if you guys want to watch that, I'll link it in the description down below so you can see the start of the build. But otherwise, this is basically what it looks like on the inside. Uh, we're working on the kitchen first. I did a live stream of this actually whilst recording it and I messed up the footage. So I had to go back and do it again, but it's okay because we didn't get that much done on the live stream. So... Uh, yeah, I think I did a better job the second time around in the kitchen. There's more detail. Um, we're going to be kind of making the kitchen look really, really cluttered. So there's going to be lots of weird knickknacks everywhere. There's going to be lots of knives and anything else that could be seen as creepy, even though knives aren't really that creepy in a kitchen. It's pretty normal. <laughs> but, uh, you know, there's a few hints here and there of like a spider that's coming down under those awesome uh, metal archways that came with the sims 4 gets work which i love they're so handy they work in so many different builds and i often like putting a table in the corner of a kitchen i think a lot of players don't really like i think a lot of players will go to the kitchen room category and they'll just use whatever's in that category and not really explore outside of it but i think uh, it's important to kind of look at real kitchens in real life and then go out of those categories and bring other things into the kitchen uh, so yeah I think for example uh, that book that book thing uh, just in the corner there that's come with the new game pack uh, I don't think that was in the kitchen category but it's like it looks like a cookbook kind of thing so like a creepy vampire cook a cookbook and uh, I love all of these like pickled things they freak me out a little bit for some reason like there's actually eyeballs or snakes or something in there <laughs> Or worms, I don't know, not necessarily normal food items. Uh, and these shelves are new as well. They're kind of nice. And I love putting in all the cobwebs and the cracks in the wall. The cracks are so awesome. I love those details. And that portrait of a guy sketched out is just, I reckon that looks freaky as well. Those books, they're really, they're a really, really nice item. I don't even know. I think they actually came with the base game. Uh, so that's an item I've used over and over again in the more historic looking builds. So I like that. Uh, and then, yeah, this archway fitted perfectly above the door there with the roses on it. So that was quite nice. And this is one of my favorite rooms in the build. I love this. It's the green formal lounge room and there's moldy green couches, uh, this cool art deco rug, which I thought was all right even though it's not really the right time frame or era of design for this build I think it's still really cool for the vampire theme because it's kind of um what's the word it's a little bit severe I guess and on the table we're going to make a little shrine thing around that flying llama so because we actually use a moved move objects on sheet with the coffee tables and made them into that circular shape. Uh, when you place the objects on them, they sit diagonally. So I was going to put normal table decorations on them, but soon we're going to delete them and put the candles on and it creates this diagonal pattern, which I thought was kind of cool and shiny. We're also layering up a couple of those um, branches in the pot, which I think's uh, nice and dead and barren looking, which suits this build perfectly. <laughs> and uh, also the candelabras from the roof, they're layered as well. And I did a lot of the wallpapers off camera because I know this has been a very long build. So because it's two parts, I just wanted to keep it down to uh, a minimum, I suppose. And I've also had a lot of feedback from you guys over the last few builds I've been doing to actually slow down the footage more. It was too fast for you guys to watch. So uh, because of that, I've been cutting out uh, a few extra things as well. Uh, cause I'm not necessarily a really fast builder like other builders and I'm definitely not a still builder. <laughs> I move the camera around heaps. So that that's why uh, my footage might not be able to be sped up as much. So hopefully you guys don't mind too much that those things are kind of skipped ahead on. I mean, I just think about what would I like to watch and I think, well, if the wallpapers are in and the floor plan's done, 
I'm happy to watch the finishing. So hopefully you guys agree. Anyways, uh, today was an interesting day for me. It was Australia Day here. And uh, basically, I was up really late live streaming last night. And when I say late, it went to like 3 a.m. I was editing a vlog on my channel that just went up. Uh, you guys have been asking for some vlogs and lifestyles. So I thought, hey, I love doing those types of videos. So I thought... I would edit one on my live stream and some of you guys helped me edit it and pick the music and uh, depict the transitions and when to kind of cut each clip. And it was actually a really, really fun stream. I think a lot of you guys enjoyed it. So I'll link that vlog down uh, below this video as well or put a note on the screen. And uh, yeah, that went up today. But I went to bed at 4 a.m. So I woke up at like 11 and then my sleep's so out of whack at the moment. I, it, was, it was Australia Day and I needed to get some work done. So in the end, a friend I was going to catch up with who lives like an hour and a half away, I didn't have time to see her because I had to get some work done. And I have a live stream at 7 a.m. today. So it was like not enough time for me to go visit her and then come back again. So it was kind of a bit of an odd Australia day for me. Uh, Mum came to visit, which was really fun. And she saw the Thomas the Tank Engine sub train I have for my live streams. And she, the first thing she did was go, oh my God, it's so cute. And then she sat on it and started riding around on it like a kid. So I told her, you wonder where I get this from. This is your fault. This is why I'm crazy because of you. <laughs> so that was pretty funny. And we went out for lunch, uh, which was nice. And then uh, she had a little nap at mine while whilst I did this build. So it kind of worked out nicely. And then I watched the soccer and got takeaway. And yeah, that was pretty much my day. That was pretty much my day. Uh, but I've got a very busy few days coming up. I'm going to the Laneway Festival. Uh on the weekend. So that's going to be awesome. Uh, right now we're actually creating a secret basement where the vampire family, they're going to go sleep down here. And I love this little basement they have. We're going to put in some extra walls here. So uh, we're going to section off each coffin into its own little, little nook and cranny. <laughs> and then each one's going to have a different color scheme uh, around it. So we're going to place two of these rugs around it. And then it's going to have those on either side and then curtains at the head of it. So I thought, I thought this looked kind of cool. And it's important for your vampires to sleep in coffins because I believe that's how they power up. I'm going to have to figure that out in the Let's Play, but... Uh, the Let's Play I will record tomorrow, so expect that to be the next video out, unless uh, something goes wrong, which I doubt. But yeah, because uh, we've done the build, we've done the creator sim for the family, and yeah, we're ready to go with the Let's Play, finally. Yo, how exciting! Uh, and then I was just trying to figure out what paintings or portraits to put on the walls. I thought old creepy family portraits were kind of a nice idea, and creepy sculptures. Uh, and I think during gameplay, I will change the lighting color of a lot of these wall lamps. So maybe this room will be red instead of yellow light or purple or maybe even green. I'm not entirely sure what I want to do yet, but, uh, yeah, we'll figure it out. And also when you're building, I recommend that you try and make the shapes of your rooms a little irregular, like what we're doing now. We're going to put a little, I suppose, in indent, no, not indent, a bit that kind of goes in, uh, inset, inset. Uh, I don't know the correct term, but anyways, we're going to change the wall a little bit and put a couch in there because it was just looking a little bit boxy and straight. And I felt like this room needed to be a little bit more dynamic and interesting. So just, just a simple little thing. I was thinking of putting the magic wishing well in, but it just looked odd and out of place. So I actually got rid of that. Maybe for gameplay reasons, we'll end up adding it in, but for now, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't, it just doesn't suit this build. The build is on the gallery as well. So if you want to download it, you totally can. Uh, it's under my username, Deligracy. And 
yeah, I may have accidentally uploaded it twice, but if I did, they're both fine. <laughs> uh, they're both correct. And also the water stains on the walls, I have deliberately been using more where there are piping and like in rooms that there are pipes and plumbing. So in the bathroom, in the kitchen, uh, I put more of those on the walls. And I love this wallpaper because there's this subtle shiny sheen to it. And when you rotate the camera, you start seeing a little pattern on the walls, even though it looks blank at this stage. Uh, actually, is this a blank one maybe? <laughs> no, no, there's definitely a wall pattern on there. I can see it next to the door. Uh, so yeah, I love, I love, love, love that. I think that texture is really, really nice. And it's a new texture in the game. It came with the Vintage Glamour Stuff Pack when they discovered that they could do that in the game. So that's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, lots of cracks on the walls. They're the best decals ever. And they look so good when they're sized up as well. Uh, the graphics of those, I think they've done a really great job. So that is good. That is good. And I love the gold sink. And I also love the archway with the bathtub behind it. I don't know if Sims can actually use that. I did not play a test of that. But for the sake of the aesthetic of the build, I think it looks kind of cool. Uh, but if you do download this, you might actually have to get rid of that archway. I'm not sure. Uh, it's, it's hard to tell. Also, in terms of color schemes, I think this lounge room at the top of the staircase is actually my favorite color scheme. Other than the green room, I like this color scheme because it's a little bit more sophisticated. It's got red, it's got blue, it's got those warm gold tones. So it's just a mix of colors, not as color coordinated or strictly color coordinated as other rooms. So that was a little bit of fun. And also I made use of a lot of base game items in here as well with the lounge chairs uh, and the rug. So that's nice. And God, those candelabra chandeliers are so cool. I love them. They are awesome. They're really, really cool. And in the background, I did off camera put a bench and using my nine key, I lifted up a few objects like the candles and the, the cheeky babe with the head and the lamp. Um, I lifted those up onto it. Love the suit of armor. It's kind of cool. And uh, also that heater. It's one of the coolest items ever. I really want to use that in a city living apartment build. Really, really want to use that. This is a master bedroom. So this bedroom, I wanted it to be a little bit more toned down, even though it's very extravagant. It doesn't have as, mu as much color in it. It's just got a few hints of red, uh, but really it's quite neutral in terms of, it's just got the browns and the blacks. Uh, and this desk looks really nice next to that wallpaper. I quite like that. We also had to add a little bit more greenery to the walls because I needed to delete one of the windows because it was not in a position that looked good with the furnishing. <laughs> so sometimes I'll get rid of that. And that chair is an unlocked game item. If you're building in a house that does not have a family occupying the lot, you have all items available to you unlocked. Otherwise you need to use a cheat. Uh, so currently in this build, I didn't use the cheat. I just kind of went st straight into it or I moved out uh, the vampire that was occupying the lot. So I didn't have to worry about locked items. And also that's not a rug. That's just a floor tile that I've used. Loving this bathroom as well. I love the colors in this game pack. They're so badass and there's so many great creative items. Uh, I'm so happy that this is a beautiful, old Victorian aesthetic that's a bit haunted as opposed to typical vampire, you know, tacky items. Uh, I just i am so happy with what they did with this pack. It's just really, really, really nicely done. The old toilets to die for. Love it. And uh, that's a bathtub from the base game. So... Yeah, wait, is that from the base game? I'm pretty sure it's from the base game. And a sneaky stool next to the bathtub in case you want to sit on it before you hop in the bathtub when you take off your socks. I don't know. <laughs> and then this is going to be the daughter's bedroom. So we're going for a color palette of purples and dark 
September. I think there's going to be a hint of green in it at some stage. And yeah, I think, I think this is a kind of cool room. Uh, interesting shape though. It's very elongated. So it was kind of a weird one to furnish, but eh, it works okay. And I also love using gold fruit in this build because the vampires don't eat fruit except for plasma fruit. So I thought, well, they, there's no point them having fruit bowls. I suppose I'd have sculpture fruit bowls. <laughs> so I thought that kind of worked. And uh, I don't mind that little wall inset there as well uh, with that old dresser. That's kind of nice. Oh, you know what? I wish I'd used a vanity there. Damn. Oh, well, we've used the vanity in the master bedroom, so it's okay. We, uh, we at least have one vanity, so that's, that's better than nothing. Better than nothing. I've also had a few video requests uh, recently. One, these are both lifestyle videos, actually. Oh, no, actually, there's also a gaming request. Uh, you guys have requested GTA videos on the channel. Usually I only stream GTA, uh, except for a couple of random GTA videos I've done in the past. So I do have that on my list to record if you're one of those people who've been asking. I've also been asked to show some lifestyle, lifestyle videos of healthy recipes or healthy eating. Uh, you guys have been particularly interested because of my Snapchat. And the other one was how I curl my hair uh, a lot of you guys have been asking about that from the live streams and Instagram. So uh, if you guys are keen for those, um, keep an eye out because they're, they're going to be ready to go soon. So make sure you let me know what you want to see because uh, it is essentially my job to, <laughs> to make content that you guys enjoy and to make you guys happy. So let me know. This is like your chance to just ask and just say, I would like to watch that. Please do that for me. And I'll be like, okay, <laughs> hopefully. I mean, I'll try my best. I'll try my best. Uh, so this is the office. I love this room. It's very grand. It's very posh. And we've got some dark black accents due to that door and the curtains. However, a lot of it is very, you know, blended in all of those warm brown timber tones. Uh, the black leather desk chair is kind of cool. I wanted to use that quill. And also uh, there was another item that I don't even know what it is. I think it's a pen holder with a globe on it. <laughs> that thing. Uh, we also have to have a few computers in here. You know, technology in this build feels a bit out of place. But at the same time for gameplay, we definitely need computers in the game, I think. And also vampires need to study uh, to up their vampire points. So that was important. This is going to be the son's room. So he has, uh, he is very proud to be a vampire as opposed to the sister who isn't as into being a vampire. She just kind of wishes she was human, I think. Uh, but her brother, he's all about that vampire life. So I wanted him to have a pretty dramatic room. Uh, you know, he's got bats all over his walls. He's got this crazy bed with a lot of contrast between black and white it's a very rich bedroom and you know those old candelabras uh, so that was kind of the aim for this bedroom and I am definitely in the habit of putting ottomans at the end of the beds I like doing that and in real life if I had room and more money I would have a ottoman at the end of my bed for sure for sure I think they look so pretty and just fit perfectly Little dresser there with a mirror, uh, some old clocks. Oh no, did I double up on, on clocks in this room? Hmm, maybe one clock's like the afterlife and one is the current life. Who knows? And his vampire powers that we want to get in the Let's Play is going to be like strength and speed. So he's going to be a really athletic sim. He's naturally athletic through traits. So I wanted him to have some workout gear. Again, it looks slightly out of place in the era of this build, the aesthetic era, but it's the Sims. It's a Sims. So we, we need to have those, those objects for sure. And they kind of work. I mean, they're red. They're red and black. They blend in. Uh, yeah, it's all good. It's all good. Now, uh, I also wanted to put some columns in because I felt like some of the walls looked like they weren't old enough and putting the columns at the top of the staircase was a good idea I think 
Again, another bathroom, just pretty similar to the other ones. Uh, I've also got my windows open right now and some wind has picked up. So if you guys can hear a little bit of banging in the background, it's because my curtains are just lightly clipping the windowsill. Then, yeah, gold mirror, medicinal cabinet, you know, all the good stuff, some books next to a toilet, which I've honestly never understood why so many people have books next to the toilet. I've said this in builds before. I don't get it. Like, I don't want to be TMI, but when I go, it's in and out. Like, I don't have time to sit down and read a book in there. So I've never understood it ever. Uh, and if I read a book, I don't want to read it while sitting on the toilet. So <laughs> I've always just not understood why people do that. But I know so many people do. Probably like 50% of people do very funny. Uh, I've also wedged in a piano here on the third floor. This is just, you know, the stair landing. Uh, so nothing too exciting here, but uh, yeah, we've got greens and purples. Oh, so we didn't put green in the daughter's room. The green was up here. My bad. Green and purple always look nice together, I think. Ugh, and I love those egg chairs. Last of all, this pink bedroom is going to be like the forgotten baby's bedroom. So the mother who's a vampire always wanted a child when she was in her life form. And she kind of her background story, I thought, was that maybe her husband, who's a vampire, found her when she was human and she was maybe very unwell. And he kind of struck a deal with her that he needed a vampire woman to, I was going to say grow old with, but that doesn't make sense because they don't really grow old, <laughs> to be his companion. So he said, I will give you eternal life in a way. Uh, I'll turn you into a vampire if you give that to me. But he never wanted to have a, a baby with her, like a vampire baby. So she's had this room set up in their house waiting for one day to have a child where she just has the door locked and all the toys and stuff. But she's like, it's her greatest wish to have um, her own child and she can't do that with him. And she has to be loyal to him because maybe he's like threatened to kill her or something. I don't know. I think that's kind of dark, but that's the storyline that was going on in my head. <laughs> And I like how in the middle of the room there's those columns and that little baby, baby cot. Uh, it's creepy. It's creepy and it's grand. So I'm all about that. Uh, also, I just realized some of those columns are a little bit off center. <laughs> so, oh no, I'm going to have to fix that in gameplay now because that's going to frustrate me. Uh, and then, yeah, th this is pretty much it. I think... Uh, we will go into the screen shot shortly. I've done some outdoor furnishing on the balconies and stuff off camera because that was pretty boring stuff, you know, just putting in uh, benches and pot plants and stuff like that. So you'll probably see those in the screenshots as well. Uh, so that's that's all, all done. It's a fully completed build. And uh, yeah, I think... Uh, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. A lot of you guys, the comments on the last part, you guys said you really liked it. So uh, I'm so glad that uh, you guys are happy. Oh, and also this bathroom, we just had to quickly, quickly put in a few things. So overall, we have uh, four bedrooms in this house, all with en suites. We also have the basement bedroom with the coffins in it. Uh, two lounge rooms, an office, uh, kitchen, dining. Uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. And lots of like balcony space. So it's a pretty sizey house, four bedrooms, five bedrooms. Uh, and here it is. Yay. The graphics are a little weird with the gray wall uh, clippings and stuff like wall. What do you call that? Gray wall, creepy crawly things. Uh, it does make the graphics look a bit hairy or something. Uh, kind of reminds me of Sims 3, but once I go up close, the graphics are back to like the nice Sims 4 graphics. Uh, so this is the entrance room, super grand, very red and black. And I love that shot looking down the staircase. Those windows are from the Sims 4 get together. 
spider webs or cobwebs around the place. And I love this lounge room at the top of the stair landing. I love the colors in it and the little boat sitting there. I think that's, that's really pretty. Uh, the dining room with a lot of clutter in there and the golden fruit bowl. Uh, so they're probably going to be spending a bit of time in there drinking their plasma. <laughs> uh, I'll probably add a bar during gameplay as well. This is a formal lounge and uh, a little llama shrine thing. The master or the main bathroom with the archway to the bathtub. It's pretty spacious and the toilet is separate. Uh, just over here, scratches on the wall. Maybe they got Maybe they're having a tough time on the toilet there and got a bit frustrated. <laughs> and this is the kitchen, which is deliberately smaller. Uh, you know, they, they don't really cook. I don't think vampires cook as much. This is a creepy lady statue outside on the deck. And this is the basement where they sleep in their coffins. Ooh, they're going to be spending a lot of time down there uh, getting that energy and power back again powering up uh so that that's a fun room the master bedroom just here that is a dresser in the right hand corner uh that's looking out towards the door to the master bedroom so a bit of space there to get around in master bathroom we've got two sinks there for his and her the daughter's bedroom so a purple and black theme uh with big egg chairs around a nice fireplace and then if we go upstairs to where the grand piano is in the corner there, we also have uh, the brother's room, the office, and the creepy baby's room. Uh, so that's the red and black theme. Like every bedroom has a really strict color scheme, which is kind of kind of fun. Uh, I, yeah, I, I like it. I just wanted to show off all of the colors and the color schemes in this pack. So that was a lot of fun. And yeah, that's pretty much the build. So let me know what you think, you guys. Let me know what you want to see next, as always. And I do hope that you are having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. And I look forward to speaking to you soon.